I've been thinking of all the words I wanted to say, but I couldn't find them. So I ended up with, I'm sorry. I just had a sudden urge to get out of the city and this would be the first time I've traveled in three years to somewhere new at least. To com be completely honest with you, leaving the house still feels really really odd. Traveling always takes me back. Sitting in the back seat, listening to my iPod, trying to dodge the hot sun as we turn on the roads, the music in my ear blending with the radio from the car and my parents' voice somewhere unintelligible, probably arguing about where to eat. I still remember the old smell of fabric seats and how I wish we had leather ones. Looking out into distances, buildings, trees, and houses pass me by. I often wonder what kind of lives people live behind those windows. Somewhere along the way, I guess, you know, with classes, early morning shifts, I guess they just stop daydreaming. I always go back to familiar places as I've gotten older. I guess I know what I'm gonna get and it feels just much safer. It's one of the reasons why I keep watching old TV shows again and again. It's comforting and I know when it's time to laugh. I know when it's time to cry and I know exactly how the characters are feeling. No surprises. Maybe that's why I keep living in my head so much. I keep rerunning the same old scenes thinking that it'll turn out better hoping that there's a joke in there that I'd miss. Maybe it'll change the moment everything turns so serious. It's why I only start a new show with someone next to me. I don't really think it's a bad thing though. I think we all feel that from time to time. And I don't know if I want to grow out of that. Just like how we're supposed to grow out of anything as a kid. It's nice to enjoy new moments with somebody else. I love seeing their reactions. I've been asking myself a lot lately what my passions are in life. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like there's so much pressure, especially if I've gotten older, to have it all figured out, to have it all mapped out, everything in a linear path. I keep trying on different hats, thinking it'll make me happy, trying to find fulfillment in work, things, and people around me sometimes. But when they leave, I'm left with this dull void that makes my heart feel like it's, it's imploding slowly. I'd be lying if I didn't say I'm on autopilot all of the time. I hate to admit it. I feel like I'm alive, but I'm not really living my life, you know? I guess we do what we can. It's almost like in life you just have to keep getting better and better, better and better. And I end up not enjoying it at all. I can see why people are religious now, or should I say spiritual. There's just such a comfort in knowing that it's up to the higher power sometimes, you know? Not all up to me it as some sort of eventual good in the world and we're not just some fleshy being on a giant orbiting rock drifting aimlessly. In some ways, I'm really afraid of the mundane. I'm really afraid of being ordinary. The fear sometimes is so crippling I end up not doing any at all. It's like I can see what I want to do, what I need to do. I have dreams but when I get close enough to grasp it, I turn away. Instead of trying to find meaning in the world, I guess sometimes you have to create it yourself. I'm not saying you have to look into every single interaction, every single situation to find meaning. I'm saying that everything has meaning if we attach something to it. That's why I got a tattoo of angel numbers, 333. Numbers, ordinary. Sequence, intentional. All together, meaning. It's meaningful and meaningless all together. It's also the name of my favorite Tanasha album. Suppose we're really just noticing patterns and making sense of it all. Instead of really immersing myself in the experience, sometimes my mind goes right to what can I learn from this? And how is this enriching my life? 
Sometimes when I'm really down, it goes to, what are people going to think of me? It's a tiring way to be, don't you think? I'm really trying to focus on letting things go, just to see the beauty in the process. I think we all can use a little bit of letting go, be less hard on ourselves. I constantly have to remind myself that the joy is in doing, not the product. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's what life is about, to just experience, to learn, to fall, to pick yourself back up. This makes us interesting as people, to have memories, experiences, and even depth. Have I talked to somebody that has never gone through anything hard in life? It's like talking to a wall. I'm just trying to put a positive spin on everything. Someone once said, to experience love is to experience loss. I think I had to really stop living for a while to enjoy living again. Perhaps the bravest thing you can do is to keep trying at life, even when all arrows point in the other direction. After lockdown, I feel like I'm starting at level one. I feel like a tourist in my own life. I'm slowly being open to the possibilities and telling myself that there's no other way to be but to try. Maybe life isn't this intricate puzzle that you have to decipher right here and now. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna try to take it one day at a time. Try to just be, try to enjoy what life has to offer. And hopefully, you will too.